Hi, this is Miss Gross. These are some of the same origami patterns that we've done in class. We haven't done it this year, but we've done it other years. So um, for those of you, most of you watching this, you've probably seen some of these before. Um, basically, I'm just going to go through the pages. I'm not going to talk during this because you just, I'm not going to explain anything. It's just looking at the pictures. Um, so pause the video when you want to do one of the, the origami um, projects that they have, and that's the one. Just pause your video so you can see the page, okay? Um, you don't have to sit there and play the whole video. Just pause it at each place you want to do something. Um, and then later on, I know Ms. Philip showed you guys how to do some origami with, with some uh, junk mail. I'm going to go through some of these with doing the same thing, and I'll probably just um, go over again how you make a good square and then um, I'll do some of the folds um, in a different video. But for right now, I just wanted to make this available to you. And so here we go. Uh, I might talk a little at the beginning just because there's something really cool that the guy did. Final thing, two advances. Okay, so this is all the different um, patterns that are in this book. Um, most of these I had in class. Shows you what page they're on. These are the types of what these things mean. So if you're not sure, you can see that this means you fold to the front, you fold to the back, you just make a crease or line and I don't, this is a guideline to show you. This is not a fold you're going to make. Okay? And then this is telling you to fold in this direction, fold behind, unfold it. So notice the differences in the arrows. If it has this arrow, it's fold it that way. And if it's this one, it's unfold it. This is fold and unfold, turn over, sync or three dimensional folding. So that's kind of hard for me to explain and then put your finger between the layers. So on some of the more complicated projects, you might want to come back to this page to make sure you're understanding what the instruction is given what the symbol means. Okay. And so now, and this is pretty cool. This nice little scene that um, he made with all the, a bunch of the different origami projects. So a boat floating in the ocean or a river and stars in the sky and pigeon flying and a butterfly flying and a little frog on so it's a lake because the frogs aren't in the ocean um, and some a swan and a pelican and a smaller swan I think okay so now I'm just gonna go start going through the pages so do you just pause the video I'm not gonna stay that long on each page because you can pause the video when you get to one that you like
Okay, that's the book. So um, look for possible future videos of me or another person um, doing some of the folds with uh, junk mail and paper that we have at home. And I hope you have fun working on this. Please uh, let me know. You can you can email me through the RNET or you can um, make a comment in Google Classroom um, if you've been doing any of these and you've been enjoying it. Okay, bye.